So I am going to do a skincare update and this is a highly requested video because I am going on five years of Retin-A use. I'm 67. I did not start any serious skincare until I was in my 60s. Yeah. And all my life I used baby oil and Band of Soleil number two for sunblock. Yeah. So if you're curious about my skincare update, my Retin-A use, what's been going on in the last few years, and whether or not I think it's too late to make a difference, stay tuned. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and if you have watched any of my skincare videos or my Retin-A update, you've seen my progress over the course of the last five years. Well in August, it was actually my fifth year anniversary of Retin-A. So one thing that I think you need to know, I'm 67, I have dry, dry skin. I suffer with dryness all the time and for me having the peels and all of the things that I heard about with Retin-A scared me because my skin was so dry to begin with. So I started Retin-A pretty slowly, um, however, I'm not slow by some standards because I was always the type of person I was in a rush. I was in a rush and I felt like I had to play catch up because here I was in my 60s, you know, 60 through to 63 and I'm starting skincare and I'm like going, hmm, is it too late to make a difference? And I really wrestled with that an awful lot. Is it too late to make a difference? I mean, I know that right now at 67, what, what I might look like 10 years from now, 10 years I might say, yeah, it was too late, but I gave it my best shot. Um, but right now I'm feeling it's not too late and I for sure am giving it my best shot. I know myself, I live on a budget and I know for me to be consistent, I need to have something that is affordable and if it's something, if I'm going to be spending a ton of money on skincare, I need to see a dramatic proved difference almost pretty quickly. Otherwise, I'm not going to spend a ton of money on a serum or a cream. You know, I'm going to be very, very, very selective. So my skincare update, there hasn't been a whole lot of changes, really. I use Retin-A, I use Retin-A 1%. I use it on average three to four times a week now. I realize that it probably is not going to turn my skin around at this point, that I've probably gotten as good as it can get. So what I'm hoping is that it prevents the rapid onset of further wrinkles. I know they're coming, but I just, I'm just hopeful that my Retin-A use is containing it and keeping it sort of slower rather than boom, here you are, you know, type of thing. So um, I use the Retin-A 1%. I do buy it off, you know, I don't buy it in the US. I buy it overseas. I have the link below. I've used Reliable RX for my Retin-A for a number of years. I am not a doctor. I'm not a skincare expert. I am nobody but a mature woman on YouTube who is trying to hold off and I don't mind using anti-aging because that's what it is. I don't want to age any more than I have to. I want to age the best way possible and at this point in my life, my budget, I, I don't have the money to have surgical intervention as much as I would love to have a facelift. I can't afford it. It's not covered by insurance obviously. So I'm going to do whatever I can to kind of sort of, um, I don't even know if you can call it, because I'm doing uh, Retin-A, if you can even call it naturally, but I'm going to, using products that are achievable or affordable for me. So I get my Retin-A overseas. It costs me under $10 a tube of Retin-A. To me, that's well worth it. The shipping is high. 
but it's still well worth it. Even with a coupon sale in my local pharmacy, a one-time only shot for a little tube would be $84 on average. It's near 200 and over. So I know that consistency, being able to get Retin-A that is affordable is going to be what I need to do. So I do that three to four times a week now after I wash my skin and I have talked about you know exfoliation 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 washing your skin making sure that your canvas is super clean making sure that that old dried dead wrinkled skin comes off as much as possible so I've talked about that I'm not going to go into that now I have my favorite products and everyone needs to have their their favorite products but the key is consistency and just let me tell you also you can do all of this stuff if you don't protect your skin from the sun it's all for naught so even though I'm not going to go into sunblock and sun care understand it goes hand in hand so what I do near every night is I wash I may do a gentle exfoliation if needed. I read my skin. I have a um, 10 times magnified mirror that scares the heck out of me when I look in it, but I look in it and I judge my skin. When my skin is clean, and I might put a toner on my skin, um, you know, or an essence, when I'm all set on a Retin-A night, three to four times a week on a Retin-A night, I will apply my Retin-A. Sometimes, if my skin is super dry, I will apply a face oil. My face oil of choice happens to be a CBD oil, and I use a company called Maku. There are many, many CBD oils out there. Shop around, do your research. They are not all created equally, uh, and just be really careful on what you buy. Anyways, Maku has had a success... Um, Hmm, a success dilemma. They are having a hard time keeping up with their stock. So it may be out of stock at this point in time, I don't know. But I use the, the Maku CBD oil as my face oil. And sometimes I will put that on after I wash and then I will apply my Retin-A after that set, you know, sets in. Sometimes I do it the opposite way around. You can talk to your dermatologist, you can talk to your doctor, you can talk to a skin esthetician, anyone and follow whatever advice they tell you. Some will say don't do it that way, some will say do it that way. It's going to be up to you and your skin how you do it. So I read my skin super dry to begin with. I'm gonna put a little CBD all on and then I'm gonna put my Retin-A on. I believe the CBD will help my Retin-A penetrate better and also maybe prevent some of that really severe dryness that I might get. If I don't put it on first, I put it on afterwards. After I let all of that soak in, every single night, typically seven nights a week when I'm ready for bed, I am going to put some eye creams around. I use many different eye creams around my eyes. I, I have a few that I really, really like, and I've talked about eye creams, so I'm not gonna really go into eye creams, but I will put an eye cream around my eye, and I will put a frowny on my 11th every night. A frowny, I put it on, and then I go to sleep. That is pretty well my skin care when I use Retin-A. When I don't use Retin-A, I will use a copper peptide. The one that I am using is from The Ordinary. This is the Buffet Copper Peptide. Peptide. I really, really like this. I believe if you do some research on copper peptides, if you decide they're for you, you don't have to spend a ton of money. The Ordinary is extremely affordable, but do your research on copper peptides. I do not, and some people do, use it on the same night time they use Retin-A. I don't. I, I layer my skincare very differently. But when I'm not using Retin-A at night, I'm going to use the copper peptide. So that would be the other nights of the week. Pop, you know this I think this is super super good copper the copper peptides have a ton of benefits a ton of benefits if you do a little research on it decide this is something you're going to want to try be careful on mixing the products in my opinion you know the ordinary has some a great line now I'm not going to get into my skincare tools because I have a lot of different skincare tools but I'm just going to be talking these serums in the morning, 
when I get up, I wash my face and because I use Retin-A at night, I may have some peeling already going on. I may need to do a gentle exfoliation. But in the morning, after I do that, right, after I do that, I put a toner on my skin, I use a vitamin C. You can use whatever vitamin C you want. I've tried many, many different vitamin Cs. I've had some that are super, super expensive that I have absolutely loved, but I'm not going to spend $100 on a bottle of vitamin C. I'm not. Um, the one I go to the most is my Timeless. This is vitamin C, folic acid, and vitamin E. This is just what I use. And so I will be very generous with this on my skin in the morning. And I let that soak in. Now, I used to follow up with Matrixel. Um, instead, I've just been using the Ordinary Buffet. Not the one with the... Um, not the one with the copper peptides, no, just the plain buffet. And I will also use niacinamide on my nose, my pores, and I'll do that at night as well, and I didn't mention that. So I use the ordinary niacinamide. I had stopped using this for a while. I started to use it again because it, it has made a difference in my pores. I have huge, huge pores on my nose, and they're gross looking, especially in that magnifying mirror. So I will put this on my nose. So again, in the morning, wash, exfoliation, tone. Sometimes I use an essence, any toner, any essence that you feel comfortable with. You don't have to spend 80 bucks for an essence, in my opinion. It's up to you in your wallet. Niacinamide on my nose. Sometimes I go up here. I leave my frowny on as long as I possibly can. Then I take that frowny off. Now, if I'm getting ready, right, I've done my vitamin C, I've done my niacinamide, do I need a little bit of moisture? I may or may not. Sometimes I'll go back in and I will use my CBD oil. Other times I will use, this is the It Cosmetics Secret Sauce. I've had this for two years now. I, I really like this a lot. I don't know if I would buy it again, to be honest with you, but I am using it because I'm going to finish it. I like it. I think it's a super nice cream but I have a lot of face creams that I can go to. So I will use that. I happen to really like, and this might be too strong for some people, but I happen to really like Truth Treatments system, and this is their, their Omega-6 Healing Balm. This stuff, I don't know if it was Sheila or Marlene, but thank you ladies. This stuff is super, super rich. It's an emollient. It really works wonders for me. I usually put this around my upper lip, around the outer edge of my eyes. It doesn't seem to bother me at all. I really like that. Then I also will take an eye patch. I have a couple of different eye patches and I will put that on under my eye. Now, at this point in time, depending on how my eyes look, I might put a little drop of Lumify in them, you know, just to make them nice and bright or not. But I let my skincare soak in. I might have the eye patches on. I might have the frowny still on. And then when I pull that frowny off gently, I soak it so that it doesn't tear my skin. I take my eye patches off. I let it all soak in really good. And then I'm ready for my makeup. <laughs> so I really, really am trying to keep it simple. I really am. I don't want my skincare routine to be super complicated or super expensive. So I do use tools that could be in other video, but yeah, if I'm looking at skincare, my vitamin C, my Retin-A is my gold standard. My Retin-A would never give that up. You can get retinols, you can buy, you know, all sorts of different um, combinations, but I can afford my 10 bucks plus shipping to buy it. And I've been not let down at all buying it that way so then my timeless and then my serums of choice again the copper peptide my niacinamide the buffet which I'm currently using I do have some hyaluronic acid but um, sometimes I use it sometimes I don't it just really all depends on my skin that's it in a nutshell, you know, uh, and again, I'm just going to say, if you're doing anything to your skin and you're not protecting it from the sun, you, you're throwing your money away. You might as well just flush it down the toilet. You really are. You're throwing your money away. So make sure that whatever you're doing, you have 
super adequate, above adequate sun protection. That's going to make a huge, huge difference. So I am, um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm 67. I don't know what 68 is going to bring, but five years of Retin-A, I've gone from doing five nights a week, down to three, up to four, back and forth. I read my skin. And my routine may not be for you, obviously. It may not be for you, but it is for me. And I take my time at night. So I come home from work, I take my makeup off. You know, as soon as I know I'm not going back out, I take my makeup off. Uh, I start doing with my eye, if I, because I use an eyelash serum, I start using eyelash serums. Um, you know, I just, and I putz like that. And so that by the time I'm, I've gone to bed, everything has had an opportunity to sink in. And I just, you know, I just wait for amazing results. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's the update. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have any particular questions or requests, let me know. Um, I know some of you have asked if I still use certain skincare devices. I will certainly talk about that in a video, but I do use some skincare devices and many that I've used for quite a long time. Um, but again, you know, there's also off brands that do the same thing. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video and please make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you. And for everyone else, please leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I truly appreciate it. Bye, guys. This is Lady Latte in a British milk tea. It's kind of a different color for me. I am on the fence about it, to be honest with you. But I'm also on the fence about the style, so. <laughs> Anyways, I did want to mention that. So this is Beltras Lady Latte. Latte. This is um, high, high, you know, heat-friendly fibers. Really, this is a cute bob. Very, very low density. No permatees. Very natural looking. Just a very different style for me. I like it. I also think I would like this pulled back, pulled up. You know, I could twist it up. So, anyways, thanks so much.